Let's continue with the second part of our series comparing cloud and on-premise storage. Make sure you've checked the first video which gives a glimpse of a definition of cloud and on-premise. Let's look at cost and maintenance first. So for on-premises you have to invest a large amount of capital upfront. This can be because of hardware, the installation itself, software licensing fees, as well as data backups and you have to cover all the energy costs. On the other hand, with cloud, one of the biggest benefits of choosing a cloud provider is that there are no enormous upfront costs. You'd simply pay a monthly subscription fee as you go. That means that maintenance, up-to-date software, security, support and all the other stuff falls into the lap of the service provider. Let's continue with security. So for on-premises, you might have more control over your applications. However, if you choose to stay on-premise, you will be responsible for creating a security system. On the other hand, while some businesses may be reluctant to the transition to the cloud, cloud security has never been better, which takes the burden off your business. Let's continue with compliance. So if you choose to build or continue with your on-premise infrastructure, compliance can be costly. You will have to make sure you properly configure and maintain your system to stay in compliance. The responsibility falls 100% on your business, as it owns the servers and storage. For cloud on the other hand, a top cloud provider has a team of experts who have compliance certifications in dozens of key industries. This can take much of the costly compliance burden off your plate. Let's look at scalability. So for on-premises, you scale by adding resources like new hardware and software. Expanding your computer resource requires money, labor as well as expertise and monetary systems and precious time. For cloud on the other hand, there is no need to track and stack servers. In the cloud, businesses can scale workloads based on certain metrics as needed. This capability allows you to easily scale up, down and even out of scale. This flexibility dramatically cuts your overhead costs associated with monitoring and scaling resources manually. Let's continue with reliability. So on-premises do not require an internet connection for on-site employees to access storage, making it fully available without the need of a good connection. However, recognize that having all of your data on the server limits access to only those working in the office excluding today's many remote workers. In addition, on-premise will require power and backup power, such as a generator, as well as storage backup systems, which will add to your costs. For cloud, on the other hand, a good, fast and reliable internet connection is critical. No connection means no access to your files. A break in connectivity can delay your operations and send that productivity into a slump. Let's look at data backup. So with on-premise storage systems, your data is stored on an internet server, meaning your company assumes a great amount of risk in terms of losing data. Still, many businesses choose to keep storage on-premise, but with an off-site backup service to avoid data losses. For cloud, on the other hand, a reliable cloud storage provider offers businesses many features to avoid data loss. This includes built-in redundancies, failovers, backups, automatic logging, as well as monitoring, and allowing for shorter recovery time compared with on-premise alternatives. Let's look at access. So while on-premise instances can support remote work, it's typically a complex dance of virtual machines, self-hosted VPNs and some data that's only accessible on-site. For cloud on the other hand, workers can access anything they do in the office via a cloud server as long as they have an internet connection. This convenience makes the cloud a great choice for employees who will be using it frequently from home or while they are on move, without the need of a VPN. Finally, there's customization. So with an on-premise storage system, there comes unlimited customization possibilities. But these also include some pretty hefty downsides, like messy workarounds, bad hacks and also suboptimal configurations. In cloud, these problems are solved by having standard workflows and treating customization as a backup, not a go-to. Apps and integrations mean that pretty much everything admins do on servers can also be done in cloud but without a mess. Thank you so much for watching.